So yeah, man, look. We back, man. So we so so, so we just coming up off of that Charleston stuff, man. And like, you know, like I said, man, I can't it be so much it be so much in these videos that like I would have to like I would have to go to my my, my other channel and like, you know, do a whole class about Charleston, man, because man, it's it, like it's sad how many of our people are really just mad about being the chosen people of God. Like, I don't understand that. Like, I will never understand the the sentiment that you don't want to be the children of God. Like that first person that we watched where he's like, they tried to tell me I was a child of God. Like, that's not a bad thing, bro. I don't, I don't understand. Isn't that what you want to be? Uh, whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever. You saying you're Jewish? That no, I'm Jew, not Jewish. Jew. Jewish Jew. means right. He's like that of a Jew. I'm saying I'm Jew. You're Jew. Blood of Christ. That Orthodox comes from, Christian. Right. <laughs> but that, the are you? Um, are you a follower of the philosophy of the black? Hebrew Israelites, because that's where the idea comes from. Not all of those folks are extremists, but some are extremists. I'm a follower of the idea. I have a vague idea that all people came from Africa. But what I wanted to do yeah. now, OK, now I could Andy Kaufman this about seven more minutes yeah. and then tell you what it is what i should what the i whole count point is. let's count seven minutes no well, do I, less. I did this to do a spoiler alert sure spoiler what's the first thing i said at the beginning we're talking about engineering and humans we're all and human. i said and then what did i say we shouldn't focus on race not just that i said they shouldn't teach this in school history the history because what they do, what schools are doing is exactly what the CIA does with Pixar films and Disney films. They make Bambi's mom die in the beginning, right? And off that pain comes a purchase of ice cream. Off that pain comes, I need some more toys. Off that pain comes, I need a bigger house. Off that pain comes, I need more girls than my wife. Off that pain comes, so they put that pain and to make us, uh, now we're the orphans of capitalism, to make us be consumers. And we need to be a community, not just consumers. So I could have went another seven minutes yeah. by being a person who presents himself in a way that says, well, I don't have to feel your pain because I also have pain too that's not being recognized. And in every interview, when I say, well, why do I get to the point of putting up the tweet? Uh, no one wants to understand why I got to that point, you right? Had pain. You had pain. Yeah, but you no pain one. Pain in your heart. But the let's say this: undoubtedly, Jewish people have a lot of movies. Person who presents himself in a way that says, "Well, I don't have to feel your pain because I also have pain too." That's not being recognized. And in every interview, when I say, "Well, why do I get to the point of putting up the tweet?" Uh, no one wants to understand why I got to that point, you right? Had pain. You had pain. Yeah, but you no pain one... Pain in your heart. But the let's say this. Undoubtedly, Jewish people have a lot of movies about that pain, and Black people have a lot of movies about the pain of slavery, right? It's almost impossible to find a movie about Mansa Munsa. When you go to the African History Museum in Washington, D.C., it doesn't start with the idea of Africans being kings. It starts with the idea of Africans being slaves. But here's another interesting point about this. This was said to me one time, and it stuck with me as a family member of mine. With Africans, how many times have you heard like a rapper or, you know, talk about we were kings? That's incorrect if we're Jew. If we're Jew, and since we are, we weren't the kings. We were the slaves that Moses freed. You saying you're Jewish. That no, I'm Jew, not Jew. 
And that's just what it is, man. We are the slaves, bro. We are the same people that got brought up out of Egypt. They went through the wilderness one time and didn't get it right. And now we about to do it again. Like Hezekiah said, he gonna do it again. Like, for real, man, come on. Black Hebrew Israelites. Let's make a distinction for the viewing audience, elders, could we? Is there any such thing as a black Hebrew Israelite? I mean, because if I'm understanding, huh? No, no, I, I, I can't equate black Hebrew Israelite. Because, I mean, maybe this is just too simplistic, and maybe I'm just off it. If there's a black Hebrew Israelite, must be a white. there must be a white one. So if we say that we're black Jews, then that means there's got to be a white Jew. Is that right? It doesn't equate. It never said Abraham. One came and called Abraham the black Hebrew, didn't it? It said one came and called Abraham the Hebrew. That's what it says, right? right. In Genesis chapter 14, verse 13. But it says black Hebrew Israelites who are a black supremacist group. Let me make sure that you all, the you and audience, understand what we're about to say to you. And you have a perfect handle on it. Black supremacy has nothing to do with the righteousness of Yah. Yah don't right right like that's it like that's what people is like like y'all y'all just y'all acting like it's it's some kind of horrible uh uh you know what i'm saying post-world war ii germany type stuff over here like no right <laughs> don't deal with people because they black by the definition of the popular culture or because they're white. Right. He, he don't deal with you because of your uh, skin color and nothing like that. He deals with you because of your bloodline. If you got the right bloodline, he got you. That's it. That's the truth. That's what the Bible say. You know what I'm saying? That's like, you know, a lot of people always want to jump in the comments and always want to say, a whole bunch of stuff to people who come on the internet and say stuff about the Bible like myself. But like, I want y'all to understand. Say, man, it's, it's right here. I, I have this. You know what I'm saying? The dictionary that tells you what everything is. I got that. You feel me? All of the different apps that's on my phone for it. I got that. The interlinear Bible. I got that. Uh, the Strong's uh, Concordance, the actual Strong's Concordance. I don't have to go on my phone. I don't got to Google the Strong's Concordance. I can go into the actual Strong's Concordance and look at every word in its original writing for the, the biblical scriptures and see what the words meant, how to break them down, what the context was, what it meant here, how many times it was used. Go read those scriptures, see what it was used for and how it was applied. I can do all of that. So, you know, before y'all hop in my comments, man, y'all better know something. That's all I, that's all I got to say. But I, I also want smoke, so say real quick, man, I love these ones right here. You know what I'm saying? I <laughs> I, 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 I really be loving these ones where... Uh, <laughs> Where people be like, I used to be a Hebrew, like, cause I honestly, I've never heard anything substantial from them, right? So let's let's go here. I used to be into the whole Hebrew Israelite thing. Uh, my mom introduced me when I was 15. I followed that for about 13 years. I'm, I'm so glad that she said that she followed this for 13 years. Just stay, stay with me. Stay with me. With um, famous, popular Hebrew Israelite teachers, air quotes for a reason. I'm gonna be skipping through her videos because she's just talking way too slow for me. So yeah, I'm just making sure we get all this because yeah. <laughs> Hebrew. So I learned the Hebrew. I learned how to translate biblical Hebrew. So she learned how to translate biblical Hebrew. 
Now, real quick, I just want to put this out here. This is how I feel about um, biblical Hebrew and all of that. I feel like um, when it comes to translating biblical Hebrew, um, Hebrew doesn't actually translate to English properly, which is why the Bible is a transliteration. Um, you know, so, but let's stick with it. Let's let's just see, because normally it's not valid. And she's basically saying that once you learn how to read Hebrew, then you will know for a fact that black people can know, cannot be the Israelites or the biblical Hebrew Israelites. And if you're a Caucasian, bro, or if you're some other race and you have a problem with what I'm saying, scroll, scroll. I'm telling you right now, just scroll. Please pay attention to what she's about to say next, because yes, I'm going to chew her up and I might make a series about this whole thing. Really made me stop choosing that way of life was the fact that number one, I learned that there is no transatlantic slave trade in the Bible. That whole Deuteronomy, to, it's a lie. It's not there. Okay. Bruh. <laughs> what do you mean is that? Okay. I learned that the King James Version is actually a political campaign. I learned wow. How did you learn that from translating Hebrew? <laughs> that there is no devil in the Old Testament, okay? No, we never said there was a devil in the Old Testament. There, there, there is no such thing as a, as a devil or a, like, like that, that Christian thing. See this, this is what I be talking about, y'all. Like she clearly couldn't have been too deep into Israelite teaching. Couldn't have. Oh, go ahead, drop your verses, baby. Go ahead and drop your verses. So the reason why she's making this video and she's coming out basically having the audacity to tell people that uh, uh, black people are not, or what's it called? Black people are not Hebrews uh, or the Israelites or the children of Israel um, is because Deuteronomy 28 is not talking about, you know, this translated slave trade. King, and with that, hold on, with that, uh, Egypt spiritually means bondage, okay? So, like, it, it just means bondage. But if you wanted to just say Egypt, just go and look at the Grand Canyon. Go and look. How are you going to... Look, when the children of Israel went into captivity, into Egypt, and when they left captivity, they were in. They were on foot. The only way you're going to do that is on, is on ships. Go read Deuteronomy 28 and tell me that's not I'm talking about black people. The whole entire chapter. But that is not even the point. I can get Jewish people to say that we're the true people. Like, and I'm going to because. Literally, literally there are real rabbis, Jewish people, people that come on TV and every, everything else to tell us that we are the Israelites. But she probably had a problem with the authority or something like that. Like that's probably what, what happened with her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just made the decision. I'm going to start a series on this. Right after I'm done with this video, I'm starting the series on, on proving that the black people are actually the children of Israel. Because a lot of different comments, like there, I had a lot of different, you know, comments on a previous video that I posted. And I was like, you know, I'm not going to get into it right now. But I am going to get into it now. And then I'm going to talk about King James Version. Because she said it's a political campaign. Yeah, there was a battle that was going on between truths and lies. And what happened after King James posted that? Him and his son got killed. But she didn't know this, even though no one studying this stuff for 13 years. And then thirdly, she's mad because God created the devil, even though God has to create structure. So, yeah, stay tuned because this series is about to start right now. Ain't no, ain't no devil like that. It's not like that Christian mindset of a devil is not a thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and no Hebraic expression. None. And keep in mind, I said Hebraic expression on purpose. Because that's what the word, the real words of the Hebrew language, they translate to expressions. You know what I'm saying? They can be translated into a couple of different phrases in the English language. Because it's it, it's a it's an expression. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let's see. People, you got to realize the first Jews were black. Uh oh, what do you say? <laughs> Jews, yes, not the Jews. Jews, 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 Jews. The Jews. yeah, wow. the Jews. Jews were black. Right. Mm. People, you gotta realize. 
I do not understand how people who say that they are believers can sit there and read the Bible in its entirety. Read, you know, what the Israelites went through. Read how they were disobedient to Yahuwah and then how Yahuwah judged them for their disobedience. How they can sit there and read all of that and then come to the conclusion that the Israelites are the people over in Israel as we speak. Like, are we not reading the same Bible? Like, Right, like, bruh. <laughs> How do y'all come to that conclusion? Like, those people over there don't even fit scripture. Like, at all. And the crazy thing is, all you have to do is read the curses that happened to the Israelites in Deuteronomy 28. Read what happened to the Israelites, because as we all know, the Israelites consistently disobeyed the Most High. So they would receive the curses. And when you read some of the curses, I mean, like, you know, how they would be taken away on slave ships, how a yoke of iron would be placed upon their necks, you know, how they will go into slavery. And when you sit there and read that and then, you know, knowing what you know about the people over in Israel right now, can you really sit there and think to yourself, hmm, these people went through slavery like they were sent away on slave ships, like their ancestors were enslaved by Egyptians people who were from the line of ham because Egyptians are Hamites. Like there's just, <laughs> there's just no possible way that you could sit there and think that they are who they say they are. And the crazy thing is, is the Bible even mentions who they are. Revelation 2, 9 and 3, 9, y'all should go read those scriptures because it's funny how we, you know, conveniently just skip over that. But yeah, I don't understand like how we could read the same Bible and y'all come up to the conclusion that, yeah, those people over there are, you know, God's chosen people. And for all you, oh, we're all God's chosen people. For all of y'all out there who say that, it's so interesting how when you say that, you can kind of recognize that, oh, those people aren't the true chosen people. And then you want to hit everybody else with the, oh, well, we're all God's chosen people. Now, don't get it twisted. If you accept the Messiah as your Lord and Savior, you can be saved. So I just want to put that out there. But God had a specific chosen people that he made a covenant with their forefather Abraham. So if those people over in Israel aren't those people, then who are? And I honestly feel like people know they just don't want to admit it. Right. That's all it is. People know they just don't want it. They don't want it to be true. Y'all don't want us to be the Israelites. Because if we're the Israelites, it's over with for y'all. That, that's the truth. If we're the Israelites, your ancestors messed up. They messed with the wrong kids at the park. That's why a lot of these, uh, you know, Americans, if you will, uh, Asian folks and stuff, don't want us to be the Israelites. That's why the uh, the Jewish people, you know what I'm saying? That's why they don't want us to be the Israelites. Because if we're the Israelites, Most I said, what are you going to do to that nation that we serve? So, mm -hmm. I'm an Israelite. Don't call me black no more. That word is only a color. It ain't facts no more. I don't wear crosses no more. Y'all sure what's coming back. I ain't scared of losses no more. I see life in that. Hey, I'm an Israelite. My diamonds is real. I'm an Israelite. People know, man. As a Christian, how should you think about black Hebrew Israelites? Let me help you. First, I don't think we need to get caught up on whether or not they actually Hebrew or if their ethnicity is one of the 12 tribes of Israel. There's no way to prove that or disprove that historically or even genetically. Like, man, like you'll spend your time fighting something that don't really matter. But here's what you need to be concerned about. Three implications or three belief systems that come from black Hebrew Israelites that has to be challenged and is very dangerous if they hold to this. One, a lot of them don't believe that Jesus is God. That's heretical. It goes against church history and goes against the Bible. Wait a minute. He's not though. 
because when Cornelius asked him and called him good master, what did he tell him? There's none good but one, and that is the Father. If he is him, then okay. How, why would he say that? Come on, bro. Second, a lot of them also don't hold to us being saved by grace alone, through faith alone, and the work of Christ. And, and that's because the Bible tells you that faith without works is dead. And it tells you that the saints are those that have the faith in Jesus Christ and keep the commandments in the book of Revelation, as a matter of fact. <laughs> That is another heretical, dangerous belief. Third and finally, the way that they view the Old Testament law is that all people, if you believe in Christ, you're under the Old Testament law and you have to obey the Mosaic. Being under the law and obeying the law are two different things. See, Christians don't know what they're talking about. Being under the law means that you can be punished by the law. Obeying the law is just whether or not you follow it or not. We're not under the law. We are under grace. That's why you don't get stoned for stuff anymore. That's why you don't, you know, lose your life for breaking the commandments or working on a Saturday. Because those things were punishable by death in Torah. That doesn't happen anymore because we are under grace. See, people need to understand what these scriptures are talking about if they're going to be out here trying to preach to somebody. <laughs> law that's not biblical and that can also be really dangerous as well hit the follow let's talk about it my question is why don't people want to keep the law that, you know somebody drop in the comments what like what could it be about the mosaic law that people don't want to keep because i i've yet to read any kind of detriment over all the laws tell you to eat healthy they tell you to be nice to your neighbors they tell you to help your brother, even if you don't like him. If you see his, if you see his ox in the, in the ditch, you're supposed to help him. It tells you that if you have excess resources, you're supposed to leave the spoils for the for the poor people. In in the situation, it tells you that if you pluck your vineyard, the things that fall off, like you don't like go and pick them up off the ground and put them in your back bucket. You leave them there for the people that don't have no food. Same thing applies nowadays. If you have a whole bunch of money, you're supposed to leave the scraps for the rest of the people and, and let them enjoy some of your fruits of your labor as well because those are your brothers and you're supposed to love your brother as you love yourself. These are these are the commandments of God. I don't understand what's so wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Husband, love your wife. Wives, obey your husband. Husbands and wives work together for as a team and raise your children. Children, obey your parents. <laughs> like, how is it a dangerous belief to keep the Mosaic law? You mean the you mean the law that God gave to Moses? You mean the same law that Adam and Eve had? You mean the same law that everyone in the Bible has always been under? Because the Most High does not change. Or are we not reading the same Bible like old girl said? But yeah, man, put it in the comments. Man, we're going to have to do way more of these, man. Y'all already see, man. I, I got to hold back on you. I got to hold back on you, man. This man don't read the Bible, and you can tell. But Shalom, Shalom, Shalom.